Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about various tax options under ATC which are available into the market and also we will discuss that which option you should choose for putting your money and save tax. Okay, let's talk about one by one. First one is ELSS, Equity Linked Saving Scheme. This particular scheme is has the investment into the mutual fund okay so various mutual fund housing companies having their mutual funds available into the market okay you can invest into that and that investment goes directly into the stock market so the main positive point for this scheme is that the locking period is only and only three years after that, you can withdraw your money as per your choice. You can keep it continue also, but you have the options to put out your money after completion of three years and you can save the tax also. Second option is NPS National Pension Scheme. First of all, I would like to draw your kind attention into the drawback of NPS. The main drawback of NPS is the locking period of 60 years you cannot withdraw your money before 60 years somehow you can withdraw but that is the partial withdrawal so this is the main issue with nps you can you you have you have listened about the atal pension yojana that comes under nps only so you can save the additional tax basically by putting into the nps investment Third option is ULIP, Unit Linked Insurance Plan. This is the traditional insurance plan on which you invest and you get a sum assured of 2 lakh, 3 lakh. There is a heavy deduction of brokerage from your premium which you pay for the policy to the broker. After that, the money gets invested into the market or somewhere else. So, it's not recommended to put your money into ULIP plan. The fourth option is term insurance which is also known as term plan. With this you can opt to choose the insurance of yourself or your family member of bigger premium. Means the sum assured would be 50 lakh, 1 crore, 2 crore. It's like that. So that is the purely pure insurance and that is recommended that you should have the term insurance for yourself as well as your family members. Fifth option is PPF, Public Provident Fund. The only drawback into this option is again the locking period and the locking period is 15 years. After 7 years you can withdraw the partial money but the full money you can withdraw only after the 15 year. But it is highly recommended to put your money into PPF also because you should also have a safe, safe option into your portfolio. The sixth option is dedicated to the female's child and recently some years only back launched by the government of India, Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana that is only for the girl child. The locking period is approximately around I think 21 years. Before that you can, you can withdraw but that is the partial withdrawal only. The seventh option is NSC, National Saving Certificate that has been issued by the government of India and that has the fixed tenure as well as the fixed interest onto that bonds. Eighth one is fixed deposit. Like normal fixed deposit, you can also choose tax saving fixed deposit which you can buy from the bank. That has the locking period of five years and a certain interest rate has been given to the investor but that is not at all recommended because 5 year tenure is too high. The ninth option is EPF Employee Provident Fund that is also applicable under ATC. So the amount which your company used to deduct from your salary has also has the tax benefit under ATC. Tenth last but not the least the child tuition fees that also comes under 
ATC category. So by claiming that, but only tuition fees is applicable. It's not like that. You can you can uh, uh, claim for the full entire fees which you are paying, but that but only the child fees is applicable under ATC. So among these ten, if we talk about my best among three, then it would be the first one unit linked oh, sorry equity linked saving scheme ELSS next one is either PPF or Sukanya means if you have a boy then it's basically the PPF otherwise for girls the Sukanya and the term insurance so it is highly recommended that you should have the term insurance for your portfolio for your self and your family members if you still have any doubt into this topic, do let me know in comment section. I will happy to help you. With this video, I just want to convey this particular information to you. Hope you like this video. Thank you so much.